Good morning, guys. I am <clears throat> going to do a video here on some notes. So take out your notebook, push pause. We can't get your notebook out. We're going to do a quick tree map. Super easy. This content we're going over is pretty easy, but it is important. Um, again, looking at these scatter plots. So that's the name of your title of your tree map. Scatter plot associations. And then maybe <clears throat> I could ask you guys if, maybe not today, but later on to give me proof that you took notes, like take a picture of your notes and send them to me. But we won't ask that of you today. We're still just getting started. Next week will look a little different. I will explain everything I need to. I will um, be doing some videos. And then next week, you're going to be required, I believe, to do a flip grid. I think that's going to be my way of kind of checking to make sure you're doing your work as well. So scatter plot associations. And then we'll talk about what a scatter plot is, but I'm going to just name them off right now. This is a positive association, negative association, and no association. I'm going to abbreviate association right there. Okay. And we're going to just dive into the positive part first. So if you have a ruler, great, go ahead and get, you get it out, but you're going to be putting a quadrant one for all of these. All right. And there's my quadrant one. And I can even put age so you can get a little sense of what's going on here and height, age and height. And what do you think, first of all, let me ask you this question. What would the y-intercept be on this kind of idea here? What if I said this is my, forget about what the number of the height is. What would that be? What would my age be at the y-intercept? Wouldn't it be, isn't this my x value? When the x is zero, the y is my y-intercept. So this would be probably when the, if it was a baby, maybe I said a baby or just a person, this is when they're born, right? And then what if I just kept doing this here? They didn't get that much bigger, but then as they got older, all of a sudden they had a growth spurt. Some of you guys are waiting for that. Not gonna name names, just kidding. All right, now notice that this is my, my scatter plot. Are they all in a perfect line? No, they are scattered, hence the name. They're kind of scattered. But are they kind of scattered in an association or in a way that could be a positive, we'll even put this word slope, just to think, positive slope. To have a positive association, it kind of has to create this positive slope. And you could kind of see that happening. All right. So down here underneath, we're going to put Points should somewhat create a positive slope, okay? Points should somewhat create a positive slope, and that's how easy it is. And as age gets older, your height gets taller, okay? All right, let's do a negative one now. Same concept. This time, we'll say, we'll say you're given a gift card to go to the mall, all right? And I'm going to put gift card money. Now, if I asked you what the y-intercept meant, at zero hours of using the gift card, would this tell you how much money was first put on the gift card, right? How much money was on the gift card initially? Well, then an hour goes by, boom, you went to Zoomies or, or you went to Street Dreams. You know, I see Sebio with those shirts all the time. So maybe you guys are all over the place and then you're at the mall and then, oh, well, wait a minute, you go to, I don't know, go get some food. You're at the food court now, all right? And you just spend a little bit at the food court. <clears throat> all right, but hold up, now you find, I don't know, I don't know where else you guys go, Forever 21 or something. All right, then you are 
decide, oh, I'm going to get my ears pierced, go to Claire's or something, I don't know. All right, then eventually you spend some more money here, and then actually you, you just kind of chill for a minute. You don't spend much money, but then you you find out, oh, I really want that, you know, Zoomies sweatshirt, and you spend the rest of your money, okay? Now, notice I said the rest of your money when you're on a Y or the X. When you have finally hit this here, this on the Y would be zero, so that meant you spent all your money. You can't go negative on the gift card, all right? You can't be doing that. So if you look at this here, you notice it's going down. It's a negative association, okay? So we're going to write that points should somewhat create a negative slope, all right? Negative slope or negative association. All right, now I'm going to pull up some, some other ones you can look at, but those are your notes for this part. we got one more part left. Push pause if you need to. Okay, so if you're looking at this one here, let me zoom out first a little bit. Maggie's long jump distances, distance of long jump in feet. So she was like length of running start. So when she didn't have a running start, she could jump this far. So she wasn't able. And this little squiggly line, don't worry about them. They just jump from zero to four. Don't worry about that. Now, when she gets a 10 foot running start, these are her jumps. When she gets a 20 foot running start, these are her jumps. 30 foot running start, these are her jumps. So once you get to like a 50, 60, 70, 80 running start, it kind of tapers off is the word or it kind of levels out here. But do you notice this is a positive association? You can tell that, right? You can see that going up, 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 up. It does level off here because she can't keep it. No matter how much running starts, you can't just keep jumping forever. But this would be a positive association. And I believe, let's show our answer. Positive, the further you run, the further you jump. Read your answers when you do this. This one's actually on your quiz, OK? All right, let's go to last on our notes. Actually, I can go straight back to this real quick. All right, we're good here. And now the last one is still going to be a quadrant one, quadrant one graph. All right, and then this one's gonna be the grade you are in and the amount of siblings you have. So a lot of times, and I may do this next week, I may survey you guys, you'll have to fill out a survey and then eventually look at a scatter plot later on. But you make your graphs neater than mine too. So if we thought about this, you know, maybe even through Orchard Dell, through Hillview, whatever, or even just Hillview, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders, and we, we had six, seventh, or sixth graders, seventh graders, eighth graders, and the amount of siblings were like one, two, three, four, five. Do you think that it would be like, okay, all sixth graders have, you know, one sibling, all seventh graders have two siblings, or all eighth graders have three siblings? Would that make any sense at all? I mean, kind of. Really, it should be all over the place, right? You can't judge. It doesn't have a correlation or association. And I should have written that word down too. And just put points all over the place on this guy. When you see points everywhere, that means there is no, no association. And let's put this here. When points are all over the place, There is no association, also known as correlation. That's a fancy word. That could be a membane word, correlation or correlate. These correlate in a negative <clears throat> association. These correlate into a positive association, but these don't have a correlation. Okay? All right, do the best you can on the quizzes. Read each question. There's only like 12. Tomorrow there will be a Google form. This concept will not be on there. Uh oh, this concept will not be on there. Okay. All right. Let me plug this in.